Welcome back guys. In this video we're just going to carry on stripping the bike down and see how far we get. So stay tuned. So on the ignition, when the ignition was playing up, I've just taken these screws out of the bottom of it. So I'm going to take this off. I'm going to have a look and see how how to clean it up. See if I can, yeah, I can see inside it there. See it? So we'll open this up, clean it up, and try and get it back together so it's more user friendly. Seal it up. I think that cable runs down to here. So we'll just disconnect that and then we'll have a look on the bench. Give that a clean up. like the water was getting in here if any so and in there obviously and that's all screwed together it closes it so what I'll do is I'll just put a bit of silicon on there I think just to try and seal it up a little bit so I'll put a little bit of silicon on there not too much because I don't want it going into the electronics all right screw it back on that's better everything's working now with the switch so this little booster that i've been using is called the audio not sponsored at all but i found it'll jump start any decent uh any diesel car and it is really just simple, you just plug it in, press the little button and it'll start. So I would recommend these things, they're about 60 quid. Um, audio, definitely really small as well. So, well, you can see how small it is. There's my hand, yeah. And it fits in your pocket. So if you're ever out in your van or your bike and you break down somewhere because the battery is flat, put that in your pocket. And it'll start up it's also got a couple of usb ports and a charger so you can charge your phone and a torch and another output there so yes definitely i would recommend that get yourselves one <laughs> Right, just taking the, the fuel filter off. Absolutely caked in shit and I've just emptied all the fuel out of it. Let me show you the colour. Look at that. Unbelievable. I've just pulled all this apart. As you can see, it's just caked in crap. So I'm going to clean all this up. And then the spring. And I'm 
I'm pretty sure that goes that way. Okay, so stripping down wise, I'm just going to take these two bolts out here. I've already disconnected the wiring loom for the front and just pushed it back through here. So, take this off from there and then we'll start undoing the, the grips and stuff. Now this is going to be fun, I'm going to try and take these forks off, but to do that you need to lift it up in those centre stands. So I've put a piece of 2x2 two two through, through the exhaust and the engine. So I'm going to try and use a couple of axle stands, so I'm going to try and jack it up, put an axle stand underneath it, uh, take the weight off the front. So I've got one either side, so let's have a go at that. That seems to have worked. So that ring there must be for the height, so when they go on, Oop. must define the height of each one, clever. Right, that was a good day, so we got the forks off, so tune in next time and carry on stripping it down.